how protocols duly observed. The post-mortem of the, of the 2019 general election signals democracy in a solid state. So I, I have copies of this. Maybe later you, you, you have it. I repeat, the post-mortem of the 2019 general election signals a democracy in a solid state, a Nigerian nation in relapse, and a political leadership in denial. As a nation, we have found ourselves in a situation worse than the events that truncated the First Republic. All the divisive signs, disregard for lives, bloodbath, ethnic hostilities, electoral violences, and leadership and institutional failures that orchestrated the demise of the First Republic and near rupture of our great country have become usual features in our present state. Unfortunately, President Buhari, who was voted into office in 2015, and his APC leaders feel no sense of burden. Rather, they are blinded by self-glory and intransigent political ululation. For the last 20 years, since the military handed power and their political power in 1999, the nation has witnessed gradual but continuous deepening of the democratic system with each set of general elections. With President Olusegun Obasanjo on the driver's seat, the nation navigated successfully, navigated successful completion of a full constitutional tenure of four years. 1999 to 2003, complete. And by 2000, 2003, it moved from one full tenure to another full tenure, under complete. Eight years, full tenure completed, under tenure completed. That's an accomplishment as far as our democracy is concerned. The good action of the judiciary at this point will challenge people who choose to engage in partisan politics to become responsible, to become accountable, and to learn to abide by the principle that no one is above the law in a democracy. Ours is truly a, pas a passionate and patriotic call for us enough of this rubbish. We are not practicing democracy by what we seem to be doing. Our, pol our, our political party took this position and we decided, I'm, dec I'm, I'm, I'm asking you all to be a part of us in the very difficult job that we have at hand. God bless ADC and God bless Nigeria. ADC affirms that the only way our democracy can remain relevant is if the Nigerian people's right to vote and elect their political leaders at both the executive and legislative organs are restored. The idea that any president elected by the people cannot be voted out of office by the same people at the end of his or our constitutional tenure, irrespective of their performance, is antithetical to democracy and must be nipped in the bud. The only way the democratic electoral process can be strengthened to continue to serve a relevant role at this stage of Nigeria's nation-building struggle is for the judiciary to play its constitutional role strongly, without fear or favor, in order to stop the excesses of politicians and save our country, Nigeria. We therefore call on the learned men of the third arm to act to restore power to the people in our democracy. It's in the best interest of every Nigerian that we do not knowingly bring about the obituary of our democracy. Finally, we call on President Muhammad Buhari to tender an unreserved apology to Justice Walter Onoghe and restore him to his position with immediate effect. Any further progression of the torture of the Supreme Court chief debases Nigeria. The government must learn to operate constitutionally 
and accord respect and due courtesies to members of all arms of government and the generality of Nigerians. We also commiserate with families, friends, associates of those who lost their lives in the violence that marked the elections in many parts of the country. Indeed, we commiserate with all Nigerians on the irreparable loss. We call on INEC to immediately release the results of the polls held in River State. The act of keeping the people of River State and indeed Nigerians in darkness for so long as regards what is actually happening is most irresponsible. Thank you very much for listening.